Friday, the Friday edition this time. We did a Thursday edition last night um, and tonight is our Friday edition. So I hope you've all had a good week. I know it's been totally random for lots of parts of the country. Many of us are in lockdown. Some of us are enjoying the freedoms of life. Hello, Queensland, WA, Tasmania, NT, I think is all good at the moment. But Sydney, Melbourne and Adelaide, <coughs> excuse me, all in lockdown. That does not mean we can't have fun, right? So we're here to have a bit of fun tonight. We're here to interact. You guys know the drill. We've been doing Frock Up Friday for over a year and a half now. We started it at the start of COVID outbreaks way back in March 2020 as a way of everyone keeping connected and having something fun to do. We've loved them. You guys have loved them. So we have kept them up. And luckily we did because we've found ourselves back here again. <laughs> It's fine, we're all having a good time. We're all making the most of a bad situation, keeping our heads up, keeping our spirits up and indulging in a bit of fashion. Why not? There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's kind of my answer to life, so I'm never going to begrudge anyone that. Hello, darling girls. So many familiar faces jumping online. I love you all, you're all amazing. We are here to talk about the combat boots trend. I hated it when it first came out. I thought it was ridiculous. I thought everyone wearing them looked like a bunch of tryhards. <laughs> um, and eventually it grew on me. However, I will never, ever, ever, ever subscribe to this trend in the way that I would sort of invest in a $700 pair of boots. And I've seen heaps of great boots out there. And there were a few $700 pairs that I really wanted. And I was like, Oh, well, I'm going to do a styling session for me, Con Molly. So, you know, it's totally worth it, right? No, it is not worth it. This is a trend, 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 trend item. It is not a long-term item. It is not an investment item. It is not where your money deserves to sit. Um, it's a flash in the pan, fly by night trend. Um, and there's lots of them, they come and go. We don't stock a lot of them at Mekon Molly. In fact, we don't stock combat boots. So it's a little bit weird that a store is doing a styling session on an item that they don't even stock. <laughs> But it's cool, right? It is a really cool look. It's a very strong look, as is a lot of the super temporary trend looks. Um, they're, they're bold. They're very to the minute. They're supposed to make a statement. The statement is so strong that it's highly unlikely to stay around for a long time. It's also likely to be the sort of trend where you look back on and go, what was I thinking? Like I look back on my mother's wedding photo albums, puff sleeves, silk taffeta, Probably not her proudest moment. Probably not something she looks back on and goes, I'm glad I invested my money there. <laughs> and I feel like that's how a lot of us will feel about combat boots and a few other trends that have been floating around over the years. Like I said, I'm not super up to date with them because we don't stock them. We tend to stock more of your high quality, timeless, Aussie investment pieces that will serve you super, super well. Um, and I honestly don't have the time to stay up to date with these flash in the pan temporary trends. It's not where my passion lies. It's not where our interest lies. It adds a whole layer of complexity to our business. And to be honest, they're super low profit most of the time when they're cheap and nasty. They don't, and they, they create extra drama in a business because they're meant to be temporary, which means the quality is not always there, which means you get fault claims and people coming back to you six, 12 months later going, this didn't last. Um, and that's just, we're not interested in that extra layer of drama in the fashion industry. We stock high quality, amazing Australian designer goods, no dramas, day in, day out, runs like a like a well-oiled machine and always looks fabulous. And that makes my life easy. <laughs> so we don't tend to stock these flash in the pan trend items. However, it's an interesting trend and it's a very strong look. And as you guys know, I love a strong look. I love bold, bizarre, wacky. I love to walk into a room and people will be like, oof, I wouldn't wear it, but damn, that looks good on her. That is my vibe. <laughs> and this is definitely one of those sorts of trends that can create that impact. So of course, I was always gonna dip my toe in. Hi, Maria, I miss you too, darling. Mwah. 
Time for us to catch up for some fab food, but I was only thinking about you guys the other night because Chin Chin is delivering to Adelaide next weekend. If we're out of lockdown, I'll actually be out of the city next weekend, so can't order it, but you guys should definitely get on it, whether we're out of lockdown or not. Chin Chin, it's like a girl's trip to Melbourne, but not. <laughs> Um, okay, so I was always going to dip my toe into this trend because it's so strong and fab and just like wacky and out there. But I wanted to show you, firstly, I wanted to give you a big, big tip and I think I've probably already done it. Hello, Leon, darling. Mwah. Um, I wanted to give you a big tip when it comes to investing in your wardrobe. And you know this, our motto is buy well, buy once. We're all about top quality that lasts you years and years and years in terms of the quality of the garment and the quality of the design. So it's not the sort of thing like mum's um, puff sleeves and silk taffeta where in a year's time you look, and I'm sure it wasn't a year. I've got to give mum more credit than that. Sorry, mum. <laughs> But, you know, in a year's time, you look back and go, oh, God, what was I thinking? We're not about that. We're about, you know, if you're spending three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars on a garment, we want you to love it for 10 years. We want you to get so much joy every time you pull it out of the wardrobe. We want it to inspire new outfits for you. We don't want it to be the thing that gets pushed into the wardrobe and sits there and is unworn. We want it to be the thing you go to the wardrobe for. You're like, where's that dress I bought from Mekon Molly? I'm going to like, you know, I've had it for a couple of years now. I'm going to play around with it and reinvigorate it. I'm going to style it with a couple of different things and get that joy and feeling back from it that I used to have for it. And you try through a few things in your wardrobe, you put together a banging new outfit and you leave the house and you're like, yes, I'm feeling myself right now. That's how we want you to feel about every garment for years and years and years and years to come. So that's our ethos when it comes to our garments. Uh, when it comes to trend items, we don't recommend you invest your money there. So I did the hard yards for you guys and it was not hard. Guys, I literally spent 20 minutes on this exercise and I found two banging pairs of combat boots, both under $100, both well under $100. These babies here, these are the Ruby brand. I can't remember the style name. We will email all of them out to you tomorrow morning. So if you're not already a subscriber to our email list, jump on the MeconMolly.com website scroll all the way down to the bottom to the newsletter sign up and sign up because a recap of all of this will go out tomorrow with fresh links straight to purchasing the boots that I'm going to show you but these babies rubies from the iconic hello iconic <laughs> sending a bit of business your way I think tonight these cream bad boys come in black olive green and cream I think this was called a crew um, and they were $69.95 I believe, or $69.99. Um, and then these ones, slightly different. They've got some stitching around the bottom, like kind of a really upmarket Doc Martin look, like a bit more of a seamless polished Doc Martin look with your elasticated side, a bit less of a platform on them. So super, super wearable. And these babies, I think were called the Daisy something or other, and they were $79.99 or $79.95. So two super great boots, whether or not you wanna dip into colored or stick with the black, the black super, super wearable. If you're only gonna buy one combat boot ever, I would probably recommend a black one. It's just gonna work back with everything. But if you're feeling super, super bold, like I was, go for a cream pair. Under a hundred bucks, boom, done. Both of them really, really comfy. I normally wear a 42 in European sizes. I'm in a 41 in both of those and they feel super comfy. I could wear these all day long. I was very surprised by how cushy and comfy they are for such a cheap shoe. So very pleasantly surprised. So that's my hot tip. Trend items, do not spend your money. <laughs> uh, go cheap, go nasty. Um, obviously, I, I loved out. I did a little bit of 20 minute due diligence. I found a couple of pairs. I ordered them thinking, you know, fingers crossed. And I lucked out, they were great, and Bob's your uncle and I'm done. I will not venture into this trend any further. I've got my cream pair, I've got my black pair, I'm done. So now I wanna show you, now that you've got your super cheap trend item, how to make it work with probably all of these great Australian designer items that you've already bought. They're already in your wardrobe or you're already thinking about buying them because they've come out in the last couple of weeks. They're on your mind because they're fabulous, they're great quality, super, super wearable, and you're already thinking, oh, I think that's gonna be my next purchase. So I've got a few of those to show you here tonight. 
um, because you already know they're going to go so well with amazing heels, ankle boots, over the knee boots, all of these sorts of things for winter. And now I'm going to show you how to work them with a combat boot. So you're going to do the whole array of looks with these incredible items and create so many different looks with them, including the super on chen um, combat boot style. But when this trend is over and done with, as it's likely to be quite quickly, you chuck them in the bin or you donate them and you get on with your life with your amazing Australian designer fashion items that will still last another 10 years. So let's get into it, shall we? Again, I have my fab, super, super favorite active wear set on tonight. It was a shameless plug um, for my ISO body right now. I am four kilos heavier than I normally am and you would not be able to tell in this incredible active wear set. Any set that can hide four extra kilos on me, I'm okay with, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I'll get back into that because it, I feel good in it. It makes me feel good. So I'm back in my upside leopard set tonight, the Candace top, the uh, yoga pants, um, and I absolutely love this. And we're going to start from here and we're going to show the combat boot trend with activewear. Then we go to loungewear, streetwear. And then I've got a couple of amazing like silk Camilla looks. So we're going to rock some combat boots with some silk dresses, some silk jumpsuits, some harem pants. Fun, fun, fun. And then also um, a couple of weeks ago, I remember I told you my golden rule with pants is don't let your pants touch your shoes. So I did say that there are various times where you can use your discretion, but if you're not comfortable with your discretion at the time, stick to the golden rule, which is don't let the pants touch the shoes and your outfit will always look perfect. I promise you that. However, there are times where you can use your discretion and I'm actually gonna show you all of those variations tonight. So I'm going to show you when we don't let the pants touch the shoes and then I'm going to show you where we let the, um, actually I didn't bring a pair of jeans out with me, but combat boots are perfect for a wide leg semi crop jean and we do have one of them, the Nobody Denim Darcy jean. There's only a couple of pairs yet. I've always maintained it's my favorite jean. I have it in two different sizes just in case I put on weight, lose weight, because <laughs> I don't want to be able to lose the wear of these jeans because they're fab. And they would be perfect for just sitting over the top of a combat boot. It is a strong look. It's a super strong look, and that's why I said the golden rule is safe and will always look great. When you start to venture away from the golden rule, you've got to use your discretion. And in some instances, it will be a super strong look, and you've got to be comfortable with that. So it is a bit of a strong look to let your jeans sit, especially like a semi flared jean cropped at the ankle to sit over a combat boot but it can be done um, as you can see I have a legging tucked into a combat boot again quite a strong look especially as you see me start adding layers to it the complexity of the style really gets up there um, and we'll I'll, I'll, I'll talk you through that as we go and then I'll show you um, Oh, with that, I've got a silk jumpsuit, which is full length, and we're gonna tuck the pant into the um, combat boot and flounce it out. Very, very strong look. And then I'll also show, if you don't like that, if it's a little bit too strong for you, I'll show you um, how to tie the side of a wide leg pant, especially like a silk, so fab, because it's nice and thin. So you can tie it up to the side and just lift that up and off of the boot a little bit, and it's a little bit of a softer look. So let's, Go. Um, I'm doing the active wear look here in the upside set at the moment. I've got the cream boot on because it's a really great color play. And we're going to go straight in with the brand new P Nation Rebound Jacket. I know people have been waiting to see me style this one. So, again, got the combat boot on. It's a pretty great look just leaving it open like that I think and that's the great thing about the rebound jacket it is like a little mini trench coat you can wear it open or you can wear it done up I'm loving the interplay with the cream boot here um, but you can also use the belt and tie it and I actually really like flipping the belt over and using the black side it's got this two-tone belt on it I'm wearing the extra extra small here guys just for size reference um, and I like to flip the belt over and have that contrasting black side. And then I really love just doing a tie in the center and then 
just jimmy your jacket around, get rid of some of that extra fabric, adjust your tie here, I think that can go around to the side a little bit more or maybe even bring it in a little and there you go. So we've got active wear and a little mini trench coat, a pair of combat boots, Bob's your uncle. I just want to show you the same look again with the stability puffer from last night where we did puffer jacket styling. Um, this one again is a great match with the cream boots because it's got the two-tone. It would also work with the black boots. Again, like I said last night, the stability puff is so cool with this great diagonal um, print detail and the black and the cream makes it super, super versatile. So we've got a puffer jacket on now and a pair of combat boots. And as you know, I always slow down and stop so you can take your screenshots so you remember what it is that you're loving. So that's the active wear looks for you. Obviously, the combat boots really take it to a different level, and I love it. Let's move into some of our loungewear looks now. I'm going to move into a couple of the PE Nation um, puffers, hoodies, and track pants. So I'm just going to head off camera for a sec and change my bottoms and everything else that's going on, and I'll be back. Okay, we're back and you would have seen me rock this outfit last night. I am obsessed with it. This is the new P Nation Rebound Track Pant. The Rebound Long Sleeve Top, which is a super cool ice hockey style logo graphic top. Absolutely obsessed with this. And tonight I'm rocking it with combat boots. And you will have seen I've tucked them in and let them flounce over just a little bit, which is, like I said, a really cool, really strong look. And I'm just going to throw the new full court jacket in the peach on over the top. This is one of my fave outfits. I'm so excited to style this. As soon as they came into the store, I was like, oh, I know what I'm going to do with those. And it has not let me down. So here we go. I haven't unzipped my pockets. I think I will. Are we loving this look, ladies? Can I get some love hearts if we're loving this look as much as I am? Because I'm seriously vibing this look. Love, love, love. Love this look so much. Now, I'm just going to throw a hoodie on as well. So this look would work totally fine with either the black combat boots or the cream combat boots. Um, I'm just going to throw the cream um, half court hoodie on over the top of this and then throw this bomber back on and it would also totally work with the stability puffer as well. Um, and just really work that cream back in with the cream boot a little bit more. So bear with me one second. Oh, 
this this hoodie is honestly so soft it's ridiculous i love it i remember thinking that last night when i put it on as well i'm just going to tuck that up there and throw the puffer back on I love a hoodie under a puffer. It's such a cool, sporty look. So there we go. And you can do the front tuck or you can just leave it hanging. And again, loving this cream play with the cream boots. I will throw the stability puffer on in a second and I'll switch to the black boots because the next few looks I'm going to use the black boots. So it's all very well thought out, all of this. Kidding, it's not at all, ever. <laughs> But a good stylist shouldn't need to think about these things for very long. It should all just come naturally. And so I'm about to throw the stability puffer on. I'm going to change boots. These boots are so fat. So comfy. Now the black ones do come with a zip up the inside, which makes them even easier to get on and off. Big fan of that. And they're slightly less casual than the cream ones. They're, they've got a bit more of a smooth finish to the leather, a really high quality finish. Um, so they're a little bit more elevated, which is awesome. I love the fact that they're both quite a little bit different. So here we've gone for the black boots. Again, looks a bit dorky when you just wear them like this. This is what I said, it's a strong trend and it's hard to pull off. So that's why we're doing this styling session. Um, I do feel like the combat boots trend needs lots of layers. The, the key is definitely layering. So let me get into that for you. So there we go, we've got lots of layers on, lots of cream, lots of black. The cream blue boot or the black boot would work with these. Just gonna stand back a little bit. There you go. Now let's start having a little bit of fun with this and move into some really different looks, some very strong looks. Some of you will love them, some of you will hate them. I'm sure I'm going to love them because I really love the mix of the expected and the unexpected.
Okay, here we are in a couple of my favorite Camilla pieces that just arrived. Um, this is the Cool of the Cathedral super oversized tea. Obsessed with this tea. Heavily embellished all over it, leopard print, who doesn't love? So this is gonna be a massive staple in my wardrobe. You guys know I love a harem pan. This is the Gothic Goddess harem pan in like really deep luxe colors, lots of leopard print through it as well. Really wintry vibe about it, which makes it perfect for boot styling. Um, but I thought I'd really push it out of its comfort zone this week. It's perfect for like an ankle boot. Um, but we're gonna go combat boot, which is exactly what we're doing right now. I've just styled it as is. This is a very, very strong look. So now let me drape a leather jacket over my shoulders. We've gone total biker chick, strong look. I'm loving it though, to be honest. So we've got my fave but, um, second skin Blake biker jacket, and I'm just gonna drape that over my shoulders here. And this here is a total vibe. Let me just get that shoulder down there. <laughs> the shoulders and knees are quilted, so they're a little bit strong. But there we go, I'm absolutely loving this. And again, um, the harems are something you can play around with the legs a little bit. So I've let the legs just fall over the combat boot and allowed the combat boot to peep out the bottom. But you could also play around with the tucked look. See the two different looks there? I'll just do it on the other side now as well. So there you go. So you can definitely play with a tucked look with a combat boot. It just does either of them really well. Either way, a combat boot and a harem pant is going to be quite a strong statement. So whether you want to tuck them in or leave them out is totally up to you. The look is going to be bold either way. So there you go. Screenshot away. I'm just loving myself sick in this outfit. This is a total mini vibe. Like I love the unexpected combo. Um, it's a lot of fun. So next up, what was I going to play with next? Let's do the strapless silk jumpsuit, shall we? And play around with a couple of different leg styles with that as well. Actually, no surprise. I went with a silk maxi dress instead. You know why? It saved me one extra change out of the boots, back into the boots, out of the boots again. <laughs> so I've gone with a dress. Let me just fix up my hair. Like I said, every time we do these um, styling sessions, my hair gets so fluffy and feral from the garments on, garments off. So a uh, maxi dress and a combat boot combo is divine it's like the masculine and the feminine interplay together this is one of my favorite looks i will definitely be rocking this look the second we get out of lockdown uh, this is one of the outfits that has me so excited for the end of lockdown i cannot wait to wear this look and you can go just total maxi dress to the ground with the combat boot poking out the bottom what i love about the new um camilla 
um, one shoulder caftan and this is in the cool of the cathedral print which is that that really strong leopard print so so amazing timeless incredible investment piece is it's got a split to the side which is a lot of fun um, and perfect for a combat boot so you can kind of like get that leg out there show the combat boot show everyone that you're not just wearing a basic shoe you've got some serious style you've throwing a couple of unexpected pieces together and you're really rocking that interplay between feminine and masculine. Um, so I love, love, love that. You can even um, just tuck it up a little bit slightly and bring that um, split up higher on the body so that you're really showing off that, um, that combat boot down the bottom here. And you can also play with some knots over to this side as well, which is going to force that showing of the combat boot a little bit more by taking some of the fabric from this side over to this side. So this is a really fun shape as well, especially showing that combat boot there. Um, go ahead and throw on a leather jacket over the top. Like I said, combat boots and layers, such a good way of styling. Uh, we might even pop the jacket on properly this time, not just over the shoulders, because over the shoulders this is a cheap way of styling that always looks fab. Now, we've got the jacket on properly. I love this biker jacket with the little um, belt that hangs down the side, adds serious biker vibes. So I think we've, um, our knots come undone over here. I didn't tie it very tight, did I? So let's tie that back up. Hello world, I am ready to play with you once more. I am out of lockdown and I am back with a vengeance. I am loving myself sick in this outfit. This is amazing. Cannot wait for lockdown to end. Yay, silk maxi dress, leather jacket, combat boots. Does not get better than this. Screenshot me please. <laughs> There we go. All right, I, I did have another um, maxi dress to show you, the Ralph Studio Sorrento maxi. Um, you might remember that, that that's, that's the cotton silk blend, full sleeve, um, gathered waist, leopard print dress. So, so cool, really, really wearable. What's happened with the lighting? Um, really, really wearable, but I forgot to bring it out with me. So I will um, take some snaps of that after the session and make sure that those get posted up on our social media and also go out in the email tomorrow morning um, because that's a really great like casual cotton maxi dress that also works so, so well with a combat boot, a leather jacket, any jacket really. A, the denim jacket would work just as well too, um, but really works well with the combat boot vibe. So I will do that one as well. Now, last cab off the rank, we've got a silk strapless play suit or jumpsuit. So let's do that, shall we? Okay, I'm wearing the brand new Camilla Gothic Goddess 
uh, strapless tie waist jumpsuit. I absolutely love this style. Every time they bring it out, I have to have it. Um, and I'm so glad we got it in this divine print. It's absolutely stunning. And the fit is amazing. I'm wearing an extra small here. They have brought out extended sizes. And a lot of people think that um, wear an extra small didn't used to fit them very well. They now need to go down to the extra, extra small. I wouldn't recommend it in this style. I'm, I'm normally like... Uh, Camilla extra small is normally a little bit too big and baggy for me, but in this style, it's perfect, especially across my chest and I have no bust at all. So I think they've revised their sizing in some of their styles as well. So very, very happy with this in its extra small. Um, the pant is still nice and wide leg as well, which is fab and works back perfectly with a combat boot. So you can go for a wide leg and leave it wide over the combat boot like this if you like. It is a very strong look and it's a very masculine look. The next thing that you can do, and like I said, it all comes down to discretion and having a play and being confident to pull off certain styles. Um, so you can tuck the wide leg into the boot. So let's do that, shall we? There you go. And that again is another very strong look, but I do prefer that to just having the wide leg sitting over the boot. I think that's a really cool look. Um, I'm actually super vibing that. It's a bit military. It's almost a bit like a military outfit. I'd throw my leather jacket on now and I'd be pretty happy to tackle the world in this outfit, to be honest. So I'm loving this one. Massive fave of this little combo. It's simple, very, very effective. Um, and then if those two looks are a little bit too strong for you, what you can do is tie the sides of the leg. So we go back to the golden rule where we don't have our pants and our um, shoes touching. We create a little bit of skin between the two and it always softens the look. It's always a much more wearable look. Um, often it's kind of like base level. If you're wanting to try out different looks and styles, um, you, can, you can go to that and use the golden rule and just ease yourself in. And then once you're used to uh, the different styles and prints and all sorts of crazy stuff that you might be throwing together, then you can start with boot tucks and wearing wide legs over boots because they are quite a strong look and it takes a little bit of getting used to. And hey, maybe you'll never like them and that's fine. It's all about personal taste and not conforming to what everyone else is doing and following trends to the nth degree. It's about your personal style, educating yourself. Always educate yourself on fashion. Be open to things, but don't follow trends blindly. Be true to who you are um, because it feels better. And that's what fashion's all about. You're not spending $700 to not feel good about yourself, to feel like a sheep, to look back on the puffy sleeves and the silk taffeta and go, what was I thinking? You want to be true to you so that in 10 years time, you look back on your photos and go, I was happy. That was me doing my thing. So uh, always be true to you. Um, but if you want a slightly softer look for this, and I mean, this is still a killer outfit, right? And kudos to you if you're going for this. But um, you, can you can just tie the sides of the wide leg to the side like this. And it just really softens that look. So there you go. And like you can see, there's a, a tiny little bit of um, ankle showing here and it just helps soften some of those shapes and the look that we're giving off here as well. It's very similar to the boot tuck look, but not quite there. And you, you pick up on that a little bit more in real life than you're probably picking up on the camera, but it's definitely a way of easing yourself into this. The boot tuck looks a very strong look. So, um, so yeah, I definitely, and I love to, and I love to, um, tie the sides of my wide leg Camilla pants and jumpsuits and wear with a pair of sneakers as well. It's a really great way of making a wide leg more wearable. Um, so it's another great tip with a combat boot as well. So I'll just let you take your screenshots. And that's all I had to 
show you. Like I said, I missed the Sorrento dress by Ralph Studios and I will go and pop that on and take a couple of photos now um, because that will look super, super cool with combat boots as well. But other than that, I hope I've given you heaps of ways to style all of your favorite items with combat boots. I've given you a couple of hot tips for the iconic for combat boots under a hundred dollars. You can go and indulge in that trend, but you can spend your money where it's probably going to work a lot harder for you in great timeless Australian designer pieces that you can mix and match with your combat boots. So you can get that super vibey on trend look um, without spending loads and loads of money that's probably not going to be used again next season or the season after. So it's a way of being wise with your money, supporting the fashion industry, but in the right ways um, and having fun with it without being silly about it. So I hope that's inspired you all to try some of these amazing new garments that have landed in the store this week and also the uh, combat boot trend if that's your vibe. I hope you're all having an amazing Friday night, kicking back with a glass of wine or a soda water, letting all of the week's drama just wash off. Whatever's coming for us next week, we will all cope with. We're all super resilient, super strong human beings. I love that quote, um, women are like tea bags. You don't know how strong they are until they're in hot water. That's all of us right now. And we've got the goods, guys. We can make it through this. Uh, in a couple of years time, this will all be a distant memory. And we'll be telling our grandkids about it in 40 years, being like, can you believe that X, Y, Z happened? They won't believe us. They'll never be able to understand what it was like going through this. But hey, we managed it. So just like our grandparents managed some crazy stuff before us. That's life, guys. It's our job to do our best with it. So I hope you're doing your best with it. Have an amazing night. Have a great weekend. Make the absolute most of it. Do some online shopping. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing and so are you guys by the looks of all the orders coming through. So bless you. Thank you so much for your support during this crazy time. We are operational. We're very lucky we're considered essential service here in South Australia. We're operating responsibly. It's, one, it's a one woman show at the moment making sure that there's no opportunity for transmission of the virus through our team. Um, we will keep doing that until South Australia is safe and out of this. We're trying to be super, super responsible with the way that we operate, but we are packing and dispatching every single day. That is business. You look at the rules, you work out what you're supposed to do with it and how you're supposed to do it as a good corporate citizen and you get the job done. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> so good on you guys. Pat the Miko and Molly team on the back. They're doing a brilliant job weathering this storm. I'm so, so proud of them. We're so happy and grateful for all of your support. You're incredible. We love this little community that we've got here. Honestly, you, we, you are what we get up out of bed for every single day. So thank you so much. Mwah. Bye guys. <laughs>